hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to learn how to make this uh, simple website with a bubble effect okay so here we have a bubble effect using only the html css javascript and i have used some simple bootstrap components and as well as the font awesome icons for these icons as you can see so today so today we will be learning only how to create this bubble effect and also as you can see we have a preloader as well so if you don't see okay so we have a preloader as well so we'll be learning that as well to how to make that and in this video tutorial i'll be only teaching you how to make this effect and extra you can add it add anything uh, or any content in your website so i'll be teaching you only this bubble effect using the pure javascript okay so and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel and like my video and turn the notification bell to on if you haven't yet so that uh, if i ever post any videos on these html and css you will have a notification and you can learn as soon as possible so first of all what you'll need to do is just open any uh, source code edit editor so i have a vs code okay so i open the vs code so now what you'll need to do is just go to the description of my video so go to the description of my video and just uh download just download the first file that you will see okay just download the first file that is the bubble effect file uh, if you see the bubble effect file then just download that file uh, folder and just select the folder like this okay so after selecting the folder you will have like this uh, everything so let me show you so after downloading the folder you will have uh, everything over here okay so this folder now i have already set uh, set it up now what we'll do here is just learn how to just implement that bubble effect on our website right now as you can see uh, it is completely empty okay as you can see that is it it is completely empty and this one we're going to make this one okay so okay so if you open this file you can file find the style.css over here and inside the css folder and for the js file we have your animated js over here and the main js okay so right now we'll be working on the index.html so we'll be starting from a preloader so first of all we'll just create a div with a class let's say animation animation load okay so now again we'll create one more class with a div with a class called let's say loader okay so what we'll do uh, right here is just loading okay so as you can see we have here a loading okay so now this is the end of the preloader so we'll be doing the style.css after this okay so now just go to the style.css now first of all what we'll do here is just add somebody okay this is general let me write the comment okay this is just general okay so what we'll do here is just give a overflow of uh, x let's say hidden okay and just give a overflow of y hidden and just give a font family of a roboto sorry uh, okay sans serif okay so that will be enough so now what we'll do here is just w we want this uh, animated load this uh, class animated load okay so go to the style.css just give a dot that is a class and paste it animation load okay <coughs> sorry so now just give a position of a fixed so now top would be zero left would be zero as well right also zero and the bottom one also zero as well okay and just give a background color of white with a z index okay nine 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 so now we'll work for the class loader that we have created over here as you can see this this loader okay sorry this one okay so now just write give a width of the 200 pixel 
height of the 200 pixel as well and just give a font size of the zero and give the position of the absolute okay left 50 percent right also 50 percent sorry right also 50 percent then give a uh sorry this is not right okay um that would be top top would be 50 percent okay then just give a background image with the url okay so let's just close this one so here we have our loader.zif okay file so just open this file um, okay with the image and the loader.zif okay so now what we'll just write here is uh, background uh, repeat so just give it no repeat okay so after doing this just give a background position of the center and then give the margin of minus 100 pixel on the top and left 0 right 0 and minus 100 pixel on the bottom so after doing this just save it and as you can see we have our loader in here so for right now we'll just uh, change the class name okay Okay, uh, we'll just change away over here so that it won't appear again and again okay so the let it be over here so now what we'll do here is just uh, now come to the home now we'll be working in the home <coughs> sorry now we'll be working in the home just create a div with a with uh, div with a class called the main okay and I'll then create another div with a id that would be it's o m e then just give a small letter okay home uh, lowercase then then create an, uh, another div with a class called the content and inside the content class create another div with a id of the large header and just give a id also sorry and then just give a class then just give a class of the large header as well okay just give this both class and lar and the id same name okay and then write the canvas with the id of the demo canvas okay sorry this is canvas so we have finished our the home as well now what we'll just add here is our social button so we'll just finish first of all we'll just finish our uh, home our html part then we'll just move on to the style that css and then move on to the animated js and then move on to the main dot js okay so what we'll do here is just create a div inside this same main class okay so the home div is only up to here and the uh, main div is up to here so we'll be creating our social button inside the same div div uh, with a class main okay so what we'll do here is just create a div with the class let's say social that is social and with a on other list give a class called the social list uh, in line okay that will make our list in inline with a text uh, center okay so now just create a list tag with the class called the social sorry social btn uh, social btn okay and just give a <laughs> id equals to fb uh, that will will change this later okay and inside this we'll have a anchor tag with a phrase here and just create i i means the icon and just add a class that is f a f a facebook so this one we are using here is the uh, font icon font awesome icons uh, okay just paste it uh, several times then just change this okay so let me change this to insta instagram this one to the let's say twitter okay twitter and the fourth one let's say github 
github and the last one let's say pin rest okay so just change the id as well let's say ins and then give this a tw sorry mm, give this a tw and git for git and then give a pinterest pi n okay <coughs> What is happening okay just give them this name so after we have done this we have finished our HTML part so now we'll be working for the uh, home okay so that we have here okay this one so just write the home then with the class that is our large large header okay so we'll just uh, do up to here up to the home large header so first of all we'll just add a background image of the uh, URL with the okay image first we'll add the pattern okay then just give a comma and again the URL so this will overlap the our second background that is our the main background that is image dot five so right now it will just not show uh, in front in our screen okay so it will only implement when we write our js part so just give a background position of the center and just give the background size of 125 percent and just give the background uh, position of the okay 10 percent okay so right now it will just not so uh, sorry it will just not so over here okay so now we'll start our animated part animated js part and then we'll just work for our this social icons okay later on so just to show you that uh, our background our main part is just creating a bubble like this so we'll be just first of all creating those bubble so now come to the animated js part then now what we'll do here is just create a function okay uh, just create the function okay now let's say var uh, and uh, say width give a height uh, large header uh, canvas dx circles target and the animate uh, animate header equals to set uh, tr set this all true okay so right we'll work for the main then just write init uh, header function and then add listener add uh, not event listener add listener then we'll just make a function of this as well sorry okay so what we'll do here is just uh, give a function that is we have just created init header call the function then just write the uh, width equals to window dot inner inner width okay and just give a height equals to sorry this is equals to equals to window dot inner height and set the target okay sorry uh, this is target set the target equals to uh, with a coordinate x tends to zero and then y tends to uh, give a height okay so after doing this um what we'll do here is just give a large header equals to we'll get a document uh, dot get element by id okay and the id that we have here is large header as you all know so let me show you if you don't know so here we have our id that is large header 
okay <coughs> that we have here is large header so now just give a large header equals to uh, style sorry large header dot uh, style dot height equals to height uh, plus height uh, plus mm, pixel okay okay so <coughs> oh, so okay after doing this now is uh, work for the canvas as well so equals to document dot get element by id we'll do the same for this uh, write the demo canvas so we have just created an id over here as you can see demo canvas okay <coughs> and just give a can canvas dot width okay equals to width and then give a canvas dot height equals to height and then give a ctx equals to canvas dot get context uh, that is mm, okay 2d okay sorry let's make this small okay get 2d and this one is canvas so don't make mistakes so it will not implement on your website if you make any mistakes <coughs> So now what we'll do here is now what we'll just sorry uh, create particles so this is the comment for you to understand properly okay so uh, give a circles uh, equals to blank so we'll just create a loop over here so if var not if give a var equals var x equals to 0 with a x is greater than uh, let's say with um, okay let's set it to 0 0.5 then increase the x okay <coughs> the x by 1 so then give a var c equals to new circle okay uh, new circle var c equals to new circle then just make this a function okay, and then give a circles dot push uh, c okay now I'll just write animate function sorry animate uh, function <coughs> So now what we'll do here is a event handling uh, okay now just write a fun sorry this is function uh, add listener and just uh, do the window dot add uh, event listener with a scroll and then scroll check okay so c r o uh, scroll scroll check so window dot uh, add event listener with a resize comma resize okay <coughs> sorry now what we'll do here is just give a uh, uh, function function with a scroll sorry scroll scroll check and then if uh, let's say document dot uh, body dot dot scroll uh, top is let's say greater than the height Okay, then so the animation okay that is animation animate 
uh, header sorry this is H E A D E R so I've written this one is animate uh, header okay so animate header equals to let's uh, false and then give uh, else so we need else as well so else uh, animate uh, header equals to true okay so after doing this we'll just uh, work for the resize as well function give a function resize and then write this give a width of the window sorry width equals to window um, that inner width and then height equals to window dot inner height okay and then large header that style dot height equals to height uh, plus pixel okay now give a can canvas dot width equals to width and then this is function resize okay so and then the canvas uh, dot height uh, equals to height <coughs> so after doing this uh, come down okay now we'll do a function called the function animate okay and then write if condition if uh, animate header let's say is a uh, ctx dot uh, clear mm, rectangle okay zero comma zero comma width uh, comma height okay so we'll add a for loop as well for var i in circle uh, circles okay give a circle Mm, with i dot um, draw function so okay mm. so this one ends over here okay so after this so just request um, request animation frame okay request animation frame that is animate okay so just in this and now we'll do a canvas manipulation sorry canvas manipulation so what we'll do here is just create a function with and call the function circle uh, okay and then just give a var sorry var this uh, equals to this then we'll create a constructor mm, constructor uh, that is a function function and then give uh, this dot position equals to this okay and then in it function then this will just console dot log this okay okay now just do the function uh, init call the function init okay and then just so this that position dot x uh, equals to math dot random uh, okay star width okay and this dot position dot y equals to height plus uh, math dot random mm, into 100 so this dot alpha sorry alpha 
alp it's a alpha equals to 0 0.1 plus math uh, dot random uh, star 0 0.3 mm, this uh, dot scale equals to 0 0.1 plus plus math dot random random um, function uh, into 0 0.3 as well so and then at last we'll give a velocity this dot uh, velocity equals to math dot random okay so after doing this now what we'll do here is uh like uh, this dot draw equals to function okay and if uh, this dot alpha this dot alpha is equals to zero then in it um okay and mm, this dot position that y minus equals to this that velocity uh, this that alpha equals to mm, minus zero point zero 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 five then give a ctx that uh, begin path cts that give begin path okay then cts dot arc uh, this position dot x comma this this dot position dot y comma this uh not circle this dot scale scale star 10 multiply by 10 comma 0 comma uh, end angle be let's say 2 okay end angle be 2 into let's say math dot pi false so okay now just give a ctx uh, dot fill style function sorry not function equals to um, rgba that is 255 comma 255 comma 255 this is white okay this comma then give a plus this uh, dot al alpha plus let's close this so ctx dot um, fill okay so this should end our this this is the end of our animated dot js part okay so i want to write here plus so this is the end of our animated dot js part now what we'll do here is we'll now work on our main dot js part okay so we have here a global let's say um jquery okay so j so jquery function dollar s and just uh, write use strict now we'll start from here we'll just add a var app equals to okay uh, let's give a option uh, okay and just give a loader for loader as well dot loader and also for the animation 
animation okay your animation animation load okay so give here a comma comma as well and a comma sorry this one is a uh, small bracket okay So after doing this, we'll have a bind uh, event tends to uh, function uh, binding events that is uh, dollar dot window dot on mm, that is load. So this dot load dot bind this okay here is uh, okay load tends to function sorry load tends to function and then give a that is page loader page let's write this page preloader okay so this um dot dollar loader dot delay 200 dot fit fit out function so this one ends over here fit out dot function okay and then this dot uh, animation load uh, that delay of let's say 500 that fade out uh, slow so just give a init uh, function and right here inside we have a option option and then give write the dollar dot uh, extend this dot dollar option comma options okay and this this dot bind bind events function okay and then just write app dot init and then close this so after you have wrote this after you have finish this uh, animated and the main the just like it should work like this so let me refresh this so right now it is showing the loader so just change this l-o-d-e-r change it to the loader so it should show like this okay so it is looking proper so what will if you want then you can change this pattern as well if you want you can remove this pattern so it will just give a proper uh, background picture and if you want you can just add this pattern the PNG as well so it will just dim your background and more clearing of this bubble effect okay so I will just remove this and you can see the change so now what we'll do here is the last thing that we need to do is just add a CSS part for our icons that we have just wrote over here this is our social icons okay and and this is uh, what we want to add like this okay so first of all what we have here is a social class that we have just created over here SOCL yeah and then just go to the margin give a margin top of the 90 pixel 
okay then just give a social with a list that is a margin of the 8 pixel and 15 pixel and make it important then give the ally that social uh, btn then give a width of the 38 pixel okay and then also the height of the 38 pixel as well okay so after doing this just give a transform so what we'll do yes uh, okay let me show you so here's our icon as you can see so what we'll do is it will just transform into the 45 degrees so what we'll do here is add a rotate of the minus 45 degree okay so as you can see it will show like this right now so it will be changed after so just give the social class social btn then give a line height of the 36 pixel and then give the social btn sorry this is okay social button social button with a anchor tag and give a padding of the 12.3 pixel okay and then after doing this write the social button with a with icon tag and just transform the uh, okay rotate into the 45 degree as well so as you can see now it has moved into the proper place in a proper form so the right now right right social btn with a and i tends to the last of the type okay and just give the margin uh, left of minus 0 0.5 rem and then give a margin uh, margin top of minus 0 0.3 rem okay so after doing this uh, we'll work for the each one each tag that we have just given here because we have give here a id for each each icons as you can see fb for instagram we have give ins so we'll be doing in a style CSS by calling their id so write hashtag then give a fb and first of all what we'll do here is give a border of two pixel that would be a solid uh, 3b5998 and then just give the color as the same okay 3b9558 now just give work for the anchor tag give the color of the same and the fb uh, hover sorry hover and then give a background color of the same uh, fb uh, okay hover a give the color of white okay sorry give the color of the white so as you can see we have uh, done to our facebook it is looking very good yeah now just add a transition as well so ally social button okay so just give a transition of 0.3s is so it will work properly right now okay now we'll do this all for this one so now we'll work for the tw that is our twitter so just uh i would like you to just copy and paste this all okay let's give a comment this is for the twitter okay <coughs> sorry and just comment and this is for the instagram just paste for this and this is for 
the github okay just paste for this as well and last one is for our pin trust okay now what we'll do here is just change these uh just change this one so for twitter just write tw and just change the color So after you have, <coughs> so after you have finishing uh, writing this color for each and every uh, social icons, so just save it and then just refresh the page. So as you can see, we have our beautiful page with these uh, icons over here. Yeah, beautiful pages with these icons. And if you want, you can change the background as I've already told you. You can just go over here and just uh, add a pattern.png so it will turn to the black okay so this was for today and thanks for watching guys and if you haven't subscribed my channel please do like and subscribe my channel and like my video and just write the comment if you like my video so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye